curfew after violent clashes erupt between soldiers loyal to President Salva Kiir and former Vice President Riyash Massa. And a planned arrest of a former Congolese general has gone horribly wrong, prompting a deadly firefight in Brazzaville. That's all in this edition of the news. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the spa programs. Honorable Minister of Health and Social Welfare, my friend, Honorable Omar Si, our able governor of the region, the chief of Badibu, or should I say Upper Badibu, and also Sabah Sanyal, and the Alkali of Farafenye, Special salutation to the service chiefs here present and also our members of the Gambia Armed Forces, the most impressively attired group in here today. If you are like that and you still leave your country and travel 9,000 miles to another country and not even be based in the city and be able to go into the hinterland, and still provide excellent medical service, I think we need to give them a round of applause all the time. And you have to remember, it's not just about providing doctors for Gambia. You go to Brazil, there are Cuban doctors. You go to Venezuela, there are Cuban doctors. And not only that, they have been pioneering new ways of approaching medicine. And I have just been reliably informed by the CEO that Farafenya Hospital is one of four hospitals in this country where they are conducting the community-based medical program, pioneered by Fidel Castro in Cuba and being extended in Gambia. So we thank you. We say a special thank you to, to the staff of the hospital, the invited guests, members of the press, and my TBL colleagues. Today is a special day. It's always a special day for us at Trust Bank. This December, I would have been working in the bank for 11 years, yet this is my 12th visit. I, have, uh, I only missed one of all the 13, and that one is before I joined the bank. So it's like a yearly pilgrimage for us coming to Farafenye for this. It is special because you see members of our armed forces. You look at them, you feel pride. If you are young, you want to grow up to be like them. And they are present in their numbers. Not only are they here to provide security. Remember, us banks, we are business people. If Farafenya was an area where people are jumping each other, on each other, killing each other, stealing, attacking each other, it will not be the favorable environment for us to practice our business. So you are the reason for what we are doing here. It is special because it's the first time in 13 years that a minister of health is attending the ceremony. It's the first time. But also, it's not an accident because the minister was CEO of this hospital for many years whilst we were coming. He is the most gentle soul I have ever seen. And honestly, that adds to why I said it's a lucky day for us. But I think too that this hospital is lucky to have Dr. Mamadi Cham 
as its CEO. I may not tell him often, maybe other people don't tell him, but whenever I interact with him, or I'm in his presence, or I am attending any program that he is part of, you even look at the programming, how it is done. You look at the leaflets, and I was just looking at some charts, and he straight away went into his computer and printed everything around the world he has in his chart. I look at him, I don't just look at a medical practitioner. He seems more to me like a scholar, an academic. This is a guy who I believe strongly would have been a successful MD for a bank, a successful business, any kind of business enterprise, but he chose medicine. That tells you that these two gentlemen are selfless. They don't chase the money. They have um, the um, interest of our people at heart. Their hearts is in the right place. Now, when you look at Gambia's commitment to achieve the MDGs, there are seven MDGs, seven. But number four and five are very important. Reducing child mortality and also improving maternal health. And I am very happy when I listen to my sister here, Sise. And it is gratifying to note that in this particular hospital, there has been a 37.8% maternal mortality rate improvement. 37.9%. Just imagine, even if I had $1 million, and a bank is stupid enough to give me 37.5% interest on top of it, everybody will go to that bank. So it is no mere fee. You understand, this hospital, I am speaking passionately, it has, uh, we are very passionate about it. But my passion about it is not just because of Trust Bank's involvement. The passion comes from the passion of the people who have uh, blazed the trail here. You understand? These are people who have a love for what they do. Trust me, if they wanted to chase the money, I have seen enough competencies in them to tell me that they would have made a success uh, hugely in the business world too. But still they stick here. And really, I salute you. There is a country called Japan. The problem that they have in Japan is that because Japan is a very rich country and people are affluent, older people, people are going, getting older, but even 90, 95 year olds in Japan, and uh, Honorable Minister will testify to this, 1995 are still very strong. Japan is a very rich country, but Japan has a problem, and their problem is what they call the population time bomb. They have a lot of people aging, but they're not making babies. They're not making babies. So the older people are not being replaced. And we all know that the future of any country is what happens when you have babies coming through. Africa is very lucky in that we have the highest number of babies being born maybe uh, around the world. Maybe there are some other countries that can compete with us, but we are lucky in that. Now we are lucky, but we will be luckier if we make sure that we have systems in place to make sure that those babies come to the world healthy, their mothers are healthy, and they grow up to contribute. And if Gambia is ever going to achieve the MDGs, there is only less than two years to achieve it. I believe strongly that AFPRC Hospital, and I'll repeat, AFPRC Hospital will have a big say in Gambia achieving the MDGs. In conclusion, we have to remember that this hospital is not just helping in achieving MDG 4 and 5. This uh, hospital is not only serving people of Farafenye. This hospital is not only serving people of the region. This hospital is not only serving people of Gambia even. This hospital is also contributing to 